Hey everyone, this is David and I am sitting here with Bishop Michael Amy. Hey, How are you? Sir? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. The shift has started. The shift has started. This shift, shift right, right here right. is the shift. Right, right. Now that was a great phenomenal launch to the series. It was a powerful word. And um, I think what stood out was be the change because most often of the times we hear the word, we yeah. get knowledge, yeah. but we don't embody the knowledge. So I think that was the powerful takeaway that be the change, embody the knowledge and be it. So what does it like for you um, to share that message? And I know that you've been packaging it for months now to share with the, with the church finally. I mean, it was really about helping the church to see that everything we were talking about last year was apostolic right and making that connection that this isn't something new that we're implementing is we've been talking about this all last year right. Right. Uh, since june of last year we've been talking about invade occupy transform we've been talking about our revelation where it says the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our lord and his christ right. and he right. shall reign forever and ever those were all apostolic concepts that we were talking about last year and so now it was like connecting the dots saying this is what it's always been right. apostolic is defined as this and it was like aha right. i get it right. so our, our whole goal was in this transition becoming an apostolic hub was to invite people on the journey and not just say this is where we're pivoting right. this right. is how we're changing and i think people are getting because we've been journeying with the right. with the concepts for, right. for so long uh, which makes it a little bit easier. Right, right. Now, we talk about the apostolic hub, this being an apostolic hub. What does that look like? I mean, when we're talking about an apostolic hub, we're talking about people being trained, uh, people getting impartation, getting activated, getting a release to advance the kingdom. Right. We're talking about developing several ministry gifts within one right. house. So we're going to have several pastors, we're going to have several prophets, several, several evangelists, several teachers, several apostles, all with the one goal of saying, how can we expand the kingdom? That's right, that's yeah. right. Well, for someone that's watching, why should they not miss the series? I mean, this series is really going to elevate your thinking to say no more church as usual. How can I be effective in my witnessing? How can I be effective at my job? How can I take the mountain that God is placing me on? And, and how can I take it for his glory, for his name? So this series is really about unlocking what's on the inside of you, what's unlocking what's on the inside of us, and us having aha moments together to say, hey, we can take these mountains. Right, right. Well, Bishop, I won't keep you for long. It's short and sweet. Short and sweet. Five things that people should be expecting for this Sunday. Ooh, five things. The presence of God. Right. Uh, praying, prayer, praying with fervor. Right. right? Uh, there's going to be some release. There's going to be some activation. There's definitely going to be some training. Well, definitely there's going to be some training because you need to be trained because the people that know their God and King shall do mighty exploits, but you need to be trained. So see you this Sunday. Be there.